Yeah, that study looks at two different sunscreen sprays, a lotion and a cream. Lots of that in the air here at Huntington Beach Pier. But according to the FDA research, some of that goes past our skin and into our bloodstream. This is the second time Kathy Manos is hit with skin cancer. I'm always looking at things. Doctors diagnosing her this year with a low risk carcinoma, but she lost her mother to melanoma. I did when she was 36, so that was really young. Manos' dermatologist, Dr. Tanya Nino, says the best way to avoid the most commonly diagnosed cancer in the U.S. One in four Americans will be diagnosed with skin cancer in their lifetime. Is by blocking the sun. I believe in a more comprehensive sun protection strategy, which includes seeking shade, wearing sun protective clothing, including a hat and sunglasses, and using sunscreen on exposed skin. But researchers with the U.S. Food and Drug Administration say when we try to block UV rays with sunscreen, our skin is absorbing some of its active ingredients. According to an FDA study, these four compounds, avobenzone, oxybenzone, octocreoline, and acamsole, entered the bloodstream of volunteers in a clinical trial after just one day of use. So the question is whether or not those ingredients have harmful effects, and that's why the FDA has asked for more data. Until that information arrives, dermatologists warn, keep lathering on that SPF. I would want to make sure that my patients uh, are not afraid to use sunscreen, continue to protect their skin from the sun, uh, because ultraviolet light is the most preventable risk factor for developing skin cancer. Stop using sunscreen? No. I mean, not until they say there's a reason to because I think the good outweighs the bad so far. Dr. Nino recommends staying away from sprays, especially with young children, to reduce the risk of inhalation. Hello, I'm Mark Brown. Click the ABC7 logo to subscribe to our Eyewitness News YouTube channel.